As Europe tries to wing itself off Russian energy, attempts are being made to boost alternative supplies. Shipping companies are scrambling to bring in more stocks of liquefied natural gas to Europe ahead of the winter. But they're struggling to meet the demand. Evangelo Sipsas reports. Climate change, the war in Ukraine, and inflation. Key reasons driving Europe's soaring energy prices. But another factor lies at sea. Demand for liquefied natural gas has increased so much that there aren't enough ships to carry it. Why do we have the shortage at the moment is because the ton miles have been doubled because usually trading routes uh, collapse. Europe now is importing from the uh, U.S. I mean, the distance, therefore, the, therefore you need ships. Uh, additionally, Europe is importing now, has to import from Middle East, from Qatar, from all the other countries. Therefore, we need more LNGs. As Russia cuts off gas via Nord Stream 1 pipeline to Germany, Europe is making a 180-degree turn to LNG. But other large markets like South Korea and Japan are doing the same. And that's creating a demand that suppliers cannot match, driving competition between Asia and Europe for these precious cargoes, which itself is driving up prices even further. The cost of LNG is now as much as 15 times higher than it was at the start of the year. But that's not only down to the lack of ships. The increased cost of energy is, allow me to say, is not the transport due to the, to the increased cost of transportation. But let's say that we have doubled the price. The cost of LNG per cubic meter, let's say, has increased 14 times, 15 times year to year. This is because of the lack of the product. And uh, certainly you cannot substitute neither the Nord Stream 1 or the Nord Stream 2 with uh, ships that, have no, that they are not in, in the water yet. Much of the electricity used in shipyards, like the one behind me, come from Russian gas, the same gas that helped heat up our homes. So far, the weather here in Greece is quite warm, and it would stay like this for another month or so. But moving into winter, many people will begin turning up their thermostats. Finding ships to heat up European homes is one thing. How much it will cost is even a bigger worry. Evangelos Sipsas for CGTN, Athens.